Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm sitting outside of um, Five and Below. Uh, so I'm about to head in there and essentially the goal is to buy a full face of Five and Below makeup, of course. So basically if you don't know what Five and Below is, it's like a store and everything's $5 or below, hence the name. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and head in there um, and we'll see you guys in there. Hey guys, so we're in Five and Below. So we're gonna get to um, you know, looking for the stuff. So first things first, foundation. Well, they don't seem to be having it. So I'm gonna look orange. Oh, shit. Should I take this color? It's black my skin tone. Uh, face primer. We'll take the matte. What's next? Um, powder. Setting powder. <laughs> How is this even a bronzer? <laughs> Okay. Um, I need setting powder. I don't think this is my favorite. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna be looking wonky. We're gonna take this mascara because I've heard a lot about this. Hey. Okay. Let's see. Hey, you need blender. Should I try false lashes? Mm-hmm. I can't put those things on. I found. Oh sh Lashes. Do they have glue with them? No. I guess we'll try lashes. I'm gonna look like a clown. We're gonna head up to the other five and below that's like 20 minutes from this one. Because I can't find a bronzer, or blush. So I got it. We'll be back. Alright, so we're here in the other five and below. So we didn't find some products. So we'll take this contour bronzer. I'm not sure which one I want. Probably the warmer one. This is too ashen. Um, so I'll pick these two. Alright. So this might turn into a full space of wet and wild because that's really all they sell here. But I'm going to try to mix it up a little bit. This is the only last one I see. So we're going to have to take this. Found a highlighting palette. I mean a palette. I meant, you know, a highlighter. This is one eyeliner. inside. Like, Can we use it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a basic bitch. Oh look, here's the oh, gel. Y'all, I'm gonna be having I'm gonna have dark ass brows. Sorry. I'll take this one. Can you record right? Oh, shit. Sure. Thank you. Oh, we need lips and then we're done. Um, oh, look, it's matte. Should I try one of these? Should I try this one? Oh, we're done. Yeah. Should I try this one? I have lips. Okay, we'll try this one. Um, I think that was everything. Oh, wait, eyeliner. No. Alright, so I think we have everything we need, so I'll see you guys back at home. Hey guys, and welcome back. So we are at my house now. As you guys saw, I did take you guys along the journey of me shopping for the Five and Below makeup. And sorry, you're up close and personal, but I wanted you guys to really get like a look while I'm, you know, putting on all these products. So, um... Yeah, so let's get into it. I did already moisturize my face and put my under eye cream and stuff like that and wash it. So we're good to go on that part. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight into the primer. Okay, so for primer, I bought this called Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer Matte Matte. And it looks like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. Take some. And it has like a lotion consistency um so it just kind of white you would think it's kind of silicone because it's matte but it's just like feels like lotion i'm just gonna go ahead and apply that also if i'm looking down a lot it's because i have a, a mirror right in front of me so that's why i'm looking down a lot because i have a mirror right in front of me so apologize for that in advance all right, so primer is on. We're ready to go. 
Uh, next product I'm gonna be putting on my face, of course, is foundation. For foundation, I bought, keep in mind, it's kind of hard to color match my skin because um, it's fun below and you can't do swatches like if you were in Sephora or Ulta. So it's kind of hard, I just kind of try to the best of my ability, like try to color match it with my skin. So I did buy the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Golden Beige. And it looks like this. So I'm gonna be putting that on my face. And I did also um, pick up a beauty blender from there. It's called the Pro Beauty Sponge by Baby Beauty Forever Young. So it comes in this container and it's like huge. Like I think this is the biggest I've seen a beauty blender like get once you wet it. Like it's kind of squishy and bouncy, but we'll see how it performs. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take this and put some foundation on it. Oh, that came out really a lot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just dot it on my face and get to bouncing. I honestly don't think the color um, is too bad. I think I did a pretty good job of matching my skin tone. Um, of course, we'll see. I hope it doesn't oxidize because then I'm gonna look super orange and I don't want that. I also did pick up these little um, cat ears headband because so I can like, you know, have something to pull my hair back. I think that, I thought they were really cute. So as a first impression, uh, it looks good on the skin. Like it looks, makes me look really like smooth. So, so far so good. Just trying to make sure everything. Also, don't forget to drag it down the neck. All right, so I think we're done and we're good with foundation. Now I'm gonna go ahead and Go ahead and put concealer on and I did buy the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. It is in the color light medium beige and it comes in this like little carton thing but this is the concealer. I did take it out so it just looks like this. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And I also just bought conceal anything that I see didn't get covered up by foundation. So I just go in and spot conceal a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and blend that out with the same beauty blender. I'm gonna take the pointy end and just blend it out. Right, I think we're all blended out. Just gonna go back and add some more because to cover up some of my um, blushes. So my under eyes look pretty good. Foundation, it looks good. It looks good with the concealer. So far, so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that, and I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes and for um powder i did buy this mattifying powder and i'm just hoping it doesn't give me flashback because it's really white um it's called wet and wild mattifying powder in the name mad about you and it's just like this it's really white so i'm scared that it's going to give me flashback but i'm just going to go ahead and take some of that and i'm just going to take the pointy end and just kind of go in like this and then set it in the gigger. Sorry guys, I make the ugliest faces when I do my makeup. Like I'm over here like, I'm like with my, <laughs> with my mouth open and I'm just like, and I don't realize it until like, I'm like looking at myself and I'm like, oh. So yeah, I'm just gonna also take some around my like t-zone because i do tend to get really oily like around my nose so i'm just gonna take that and kind of pat it in my nose my chin and my forehead 
because my forehead be looking like a glazed donut for real. So, you know, we cannot hide it. All right, I think we should be good with that. Go ahead and move on. All right, and I also did buy like a pressed powder foundation type of thing and it's called the Wet n Wild Butterfuckus Pressed Powder in the color Warm Beige. Just looks like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my brush here. Also, the brushes I'm using are just gonna be my brushes that I already have in my collection because I didn't feel like going out and buying more brushes. I already have so many, I don't even know what to do with these. So I'm not gonna go and buy more and just spend more money I don't need to. So this is my brush. I get most of these brushes like from BoxyCharm because I am subscribed. Um, but this is my Aesthetica brush, the P12. So I'm just gonna take it, it looks like this, and I'm just gonna swirl it in there and pack it on. These are good for when like your foundation and your concealer isn't giving you that coverage that you want. This is good for that. And it also locks in the makeup, just making sure everything's set in place because I don't want the other products to kind of move or anything. I want them to like apply on top of it smoothly. So I'm just making sure of that. All right, so we're good with that. Sorry if I have foundation lips. Pause, I'm gonna go get some chapstick because girl, Crusty. I'm back and I'm better. Alright. By the way, I use the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer. It looks like this. It's really good if you're looking for like a gloss kind of lip balm moisturizer thing. It's really good. Back to the makeup part. Uh, what's next? Oh, yeah. Bronzer. For bronzer, I bought, um, it's called the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Ticket to Brazil. And it looks like this huge pan. I'm not sure this is even going to give me much of a bronze, but we're just going to test it out for the sake of the video. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take my, one of my Vanity Planet, um, brushes. They're the wooden ones. It doesn't have a name on it, it just looks like this. Um, so I'm just gonna take that. Look at all that kickback. Woo! So, it just went all over my pants. Great gal. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pack that. It has some shimmer, which I don't typically like in my bronzers because that's not my thing. Um, but if you're into it, then this is a good bronzer. But I feel like it's not doing much for my skin or like bronzing it much because um, it's really light. It's almost like skin tone, basically. I don't see a difference. So that bronzer is going to be a no for me. Like it's just not my skin tone, but it's not like for my skin because it's really light in color. It, I guess. It would work more for fair people, but for me, it's just a no-go. Um, so yeah, if you're into that kind of, you know, a little bit of shimmer bronzer, then that would be, that's a great thing for you. But for me, it ain't it. Moving on, I did buy for contour. I love contouring because it makes me look smooched. So... I bought this um, Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette Contour, and it's in this shade Dulce de Leche. Okay, finally, um, but it looks like this. It's in a big, huge pan. This is actually the um, contour that I use on a daily basis when I do my makeup. I love this bro contour. And um, it's like this. It comes with also a highlighting shade. I don't really use much except for like, I actually use this highlighting shade to like sculpt it out, um, to sculpt out my contour. So we'll do that today as well. And for the brush, I'm using the crown brush. It's a crown brush. It doesn't have an actual like name. It just says, it's just a crown brush. It looks like this. I'm gonna dip into the contour. Oh my God. There's so much kickback. Okay. And just dust it off and 
hopefully this will give me back some warmth because the bronzer did not do much for me. I am looking super bronzed. I love it, love it. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more because that bronzer really didn't do anything for me so I just look really like washed out. So I'm just gonna kind of pack this on. I'm just blending until my hand falls off. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead, we are contoured and bronzed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and um, do my brows while I, cause I'm gonna bake, kind of. So what I'm gonna do is kind of sculpt out my contour cause I like it to look snatched. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna take the, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna take this the highlighting shade of the contour palette. I'm gonna take that with the beauty blender with the pointy side and just kind of rub it in there. And then just kind of make a line like this. Just to clean it up because I don't like it to be messy. All right, and I'm also gonna just clean up my nose contour. All right, there we go. All right, so we're gonna let that set for a minute. While we're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. And for brows, I did buy this eyebrow gel. Um, keep in mind, I don't ever use eyebrow gels. I'm an eyebrow pencil type of gal. So this is gonna be definitely um, a new thing for me. Um, but we're just gonna try it out for the sake of the video because this is probably the only brow product I found. I didn't want to get another um, wet and wild product. I wanted to switch it up a little bit. So this is the eyebrow gel from the brand Second Love, I guess. And it's in the color charcoal black. It comes with the eyebrow gel and the little um, brush. So let me open this up. I look wonky and stuff. Don't blame me. Um, I'm just I'm just saying. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Just looks like this. That is super black. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm really scared. That is really black. Like I normally don't get black black because my eyebrows are already super thick. I'm scared. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and go in with a little brush. I have some product and I'm gonna do it this way because I'm gonna have to hold this up to do it. Um, let me grab a spoolie. All right, I found my spoolie and it's from the brand Aesthetica. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the spoolie with the eyebrow product and we're gonna get to it. First, I'm just gonna comb this through my eyebrow just to get any product out of there. Here goes nothing. Guys. You guys, I look a mess. What the? Oh my gosh. Oh no. gonna leave this brow and just clean it up in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other brow. So tapping back into this. Doing my other brow. Oh my lord, I look like a crazy person. All right, well I think that's the best it's gonna get with this brow. And I'm just gonna go in back with concealer and clean this, these caterpillars. So I'm just gonna go back in with the concealer and I'm gonna take an angled brush. I'm gonna take this brush from the, like an Olimar, I think it's called Olimar. I don't know, I got it in my boxy charm again. So I'm just gonna take this, put some concealer on the back of my hand. And 
and clean up this mess. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up my brows and I'll be back with you guys in a minute. Sorry guys, my camera stopped recording for a minute. So, yeah. Anyways, um, back to the makeup. I'm going to go ahead and just dust this off. Also, sorry, excuse my brows. They're going to look a bit really um, dark. Yeah, so I normally don't do my eyebrows this dark. I try to do them with the best that I could. Because like I said, I'm not too much of a gel type of person. All right. So, I'm gonna do blush and then highlight. I also did buy setting spray and I got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Finish Setting Spray and it looks like this. So let me get that open. All right, so let me go ahead and do blush. For blush, I bought this, uh, it's, called, it's called Beauty Book by Profusion looks like this and I thought you know it came with blush so it was kind of a duo thing and it comes with like three blushes I mean I guess it's like a contour shade or a bronzer and then a bunch of eyeshadows and like lip stuff which I'm not going to be using this stuff this is not my stuff um I'm going to be using this blush in the middle right here let's go ahead and open that up for my blush brush I'm going to be using a Luxie 514 blush brush so it looks like this I'm just gonna go ahead, let me take out this stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and go into this book here and just tap in the thing. And just, I'm not seeing a lot of pigment. I'm like really digging in this and trying to get some pigment because I do like my blush. Ooh, blush are pretty. And I just kind of, Focus it on the apples and I just focus it on the apples and then just kind of fade it out. So I'm just gonna go back in here. And I do put some, like, I just run the brush through my nose because I like that whole, like, blush effect on my face. So I like doing that. Just to kind of make it look a little bit more cohesive. Gonna take a look and see if that's all right that's good for me all right so we're good on blush for highlight i'm gonna go ahead first i'm gonna go ahead and spritz my face with the um setting spray that i bought oh powerful i'm gonna go ahead and let that sit and kind of pounce in like anything just to because it left like little droplets and I don't like that for highlight I bought the wet n wild mega go highlighting powder in the shade precious petals I hear a lot of good things about these like they're super blinding so I'm excited to finally try them out it looks like this color I'm not sure if you can see it um it looks more like a like a rose gold kind of color so for highlighter I like to use a more like small dense brush that can really like Get in there. I'm gonna use the Morphe 510 for highlighting and I'm gonna spritz my brush and just just kind of go in there, get really good in there, highlight. Ooh, girl. Ooh, yes, honey. Honey, we're gonna be glowing to the gods. Anyways, that should be good. And what I also like to do after I put highlight, I just like to spritz it again and then go back in with the beauty blender and just kind of do this just to melt it into the skin and make it look like it's more natural even though there's nothing natural about this highlight. Next thing is actually eyeshadow. So I'm gonna be using the same um, little little lip lip thing. Sorry guys, my camera stopped filming once again. Anyways, um, back to the eyeshadow. Um, I did off camera kind of put some color in my crease. I did go in with um, 
from the palette I went in from. I grabbed this shade right here. I grabbed this one and I grabbed this one and then just put a tiny dab of this one and just kind of tapped my brush off and just kind of feathered it out um, towards the end. And just kind of did that. So I did that all over, but first I did go in with this brush, I mean, this color. I did go in with this color all over first just to kind of give it like, a, you know, a transition color. And then I went in with that one just to kind of deepen it up, but then I saw it wasn't like deep enough to where I wanted it to be. So then I went in with, um, with this color a little bit and deepened up my outer corners. So that's kind of what I did there. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish that a little bit. And go back in with that little light shade just to kind of lighten it up a little bit right here. All right, so I like that. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And then I'm gonna take um, just a little shimmer and pop it kind of all over my lid just to give it a little bit of you know, shimmer, shimmer. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this brush. I don't know what it is. The Vintage Cosmetics Company brush. Um, it doesn't have a number or a name. I'm just gonna spritz my brush and I'm gonna go in with um, this color right here and kind of mix it in with this gold up here as well and I'm just gonna kind of pack it and I'm gonna look into this little mirror right here it has a little a little mirror right here so I'm just gonna look into that I don't know if you guys can see that but it's right there. Do you see that? I'm just gonna go back in with that other blending brush I had and just kind of blend out the edges of it so it doesn't look like, you know. I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit of the, the lighter brown and the darker brown and just put that back in my outer corner and just do that all right i think that's good i'm just gonna go ahead and go in and do my other eye sorry guys once again my camera stopped recording but i did do my eyelash my mascara off camera and i used the um when wild renegade lash renegade mascara looks like this i've heard really good things about it and honestly i'm shook like my eyelashes look so good like yes but it's like i'm gonna fly away it's probably going to be one of my most used ones from now on because I really like it. It does have a weird like applicator. It has like a little circle and then like, I don't know, it's weird to me. But it's a really good um, mascara, I definitely recommend it. And so I went ahead and did that and finished my eyeshadow off camera. I'm not going to put on lashes because I did buy some lashes, but honestly I'm not, I've never worn lashes. I do not like them because my lashes are naturally long. Um, I was gonna try to put them on, but I looked at them and they're really like short and natural and wispy and my lashes are probably bigger than this so there'd be not much of a difference so I was like I'm just not gonna use them. Um, I'll probably save them for a different video. Um, so yeah, and I just want this to be more of a natural look. So, but moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some under like eyeliner and I bought the Wet n Wild felt tip I'm in. Girl. I bought the One Wild Mega Mega Last Eyeliner in the color Blackest Black and just looks like this. So I'm gonna put it in my um, waterline. So give me about two seconds. Okay, this is just a no go for me. Like, it's super hard to get, pro <laughs> excuse me, product off. Like, it hurts putting it in my waterline. Usually, this doesn't hurt me. Okay, so this is as best as it's gonna get for this eyeliner. It's just like super like, it's not like smooth or creamy. It's really like hard and it hurts. So that's a no. And I did buy some liquid liner, but I don't think I'm gonna do a wing. I think I'm just gonna kind of line it a little bit because I don't want. Because honestly, to be honest with you guys, like if I try to do a wing, it's going to take me like 20 hours because I suck at wings. I'm still practicing that as well. And so I'm just going to do like a simple little black 
straight line across my lid just to try it out. Um, and it is the Pro Line Felt Tip Eyeliner from Wet n Wild. It looks like this. It is felt tip, so it's like a pen. I prefer these over like um, the ones with like you know like a little brush or the ones with like ink, like the ink ones. I can't do it. So I'm gonna apply this and I'll be back. All right, guys. So I did my eyeliner. I did not wing it out. I just did a simple black line on the top. Um, so yeah, I didn't want to do a wing today because I didn't want to mess up my makeup and then have to redo it and keep doing it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, spritz one more time. Um, also that black eyeliner was super good. I definitely recommend that as well. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I did, like I said, go in and do the eyeliner, finish the um, eye look. I put some um, eyeshadow under my um, lash line, so I did put that on there. And I put some highlighter in my brow bones and some inner corner highlight. Overall, I love the, the way this look came out. Honestly, my favorite products were um, the highlighter, foundation concealer, what else? Um, the liquid eyeliner, the blush was good, everything else was good, but the eyeshadows and the eyeliner like pencil I used was not great for me. And the eyeshadow mattes weren't the best. The shimmer was pretty. The eyebrow thing is just not my thing. Um, but for those of you who like it, it's actually pretty good. Um, everything else is good. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off with my lips. And yeah, and uh, for lips, I did get the matte lips by Style Essentials. It comes in this box. And I have this color here. It also comes with a little pencil and a sharpener, like a little lip pencil. So here's the lip pencil and the liquid lipstick. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. So I line my lips. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the lipstick, the liquid lipstick. Oh, I honestly really like this color. Anyways, so yeah guys, that is it for today's um, video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and turn on your little bell notifications to be notified when I do upload. And um, let me know what you guys wanna see from me. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.